So now let's talk about the orifice equipped with a venturi. It's also known as Nova, Nova being the brand of this equipment sold by Schlumberger. So what's the principle behind it? On a square hedge orifice, when the gas circulates through it, you've got some turbulences that happens in those areas there, just before and after the square edge orifice. So those turbulences are called eddy currents. You also have turbulences in the square edge orifice area because you need to compress the gas to circulate it through this restriction. So some orifices were designed using a venturi instead of a square edge orifice. So this was done about 20 years ago. And you have this type of design down there. So you can see that instead of having a square edge orifice, you know, over there, you have now this yellow piece, which is a venturi. This is going to allow to drastically reduce all those eddy currents and We'll explain on the following slide the effects. So now we can see the difference on those two drawings over there. We can see there the square edge orifice and there the venturi. And there I just took a picture of how they look like. So this is a square edge orifice and this is a venturi. So because I put that venturi, basically I'm reducing the pressure losses across my orifice meaning that for the same delta p across my orifice i will be able to circulate more gas so having said that on that curve we can see so this is the typical curve that describe the behavior of an orifice for this upstream pressure p1 okay so there i have in black my square edge orifice behavior and i have in gray over there the behavior of a venturi orifice. So this is actually a Camco Nova orifice. So I actually took that curve from Camco and it defined the behavior of their Nova orifice. They usually call it Nova valve. So as you can see, the main difference is between this line over there and that one over there. This is the main difference, which is the downstream pressure for which I reach the critical rate across that orifice. So as we can see on the venturi orifice, I reach that critical rate with downstream pressure P2, which is equal to 90% of the upstream pressure. So with only 10% of delta P across that venturi orifice, I will reach critical rates. If I am on my square edge orifice to reach that critical rates, I need to have a tubing pressure P2, which represents 53% of the upstream pressure. So in that case, I need for square edge orifice of the same size than my venturi orifice, I will need a delta P of 47% across it so that I reach the critical rates. So this is the first advantage of using a venturi orifice. I can work with a smaller delta P and I will much faster reach the most stable zone of my orifice. The second advantage is the difference that we can see over there. Those two orifices being the same size, so let's say that I have for instance a 1064 inch square edge orifice and a 1064 inch venturi orifice. What we can see is that for the same upstream pressure, the venturi orifice is going to have a critical rate 20% higher than the square edge orifice. So this is a second advantage of the venturi orifice. So in which case am I going to use that? Let's say that, for instance, you are injecting gas lifts through an orifice in your well and your casing pressure is only equalized with your gas lift network pressure. So basically you have no means of increasing your casing pressure and you already installed the biggest existing orifice size. Well, in that case, if you still want to increase your gas lift rates, one thing that you can do is replace that orifice by a venturi orifice and you should be able to increase the gas rate of 20%.
one more thing to notice about the venturi orifice is since they reach the critical rate with a much smaller delta p and the critical rate is 20 percent higher i will have a subcritical flow area that is gonna have a much much steeper slope because of that it is not recommended to use a venturi orifice if the delta p across that orifice is going to be smaller than 10 percent i actually recommend you to take some margin because you know parameters change and you never know how precise your calculation will be so in that case i would say install that kind of venturi orifice if you know that you have at least 20 percent of delta p across that orifice that being said so if i am there at the at the 80 percent you can see that the area for which your venturi orifice is useful if you want to use it as a way to reach critical rate faster and have a stable gas flow rate you can see that that window is rather limited because if my downstream pressure is lower than that 53 percent over there so this value can change depending on your gas specific gravity, but it is a rather a good value if you are between 0.65 and 0.75. So if you have a downstream pressure that is smaller than that value, then the square edge orifice and the venturi orifice are both at the critical rate. So in that case, there is no point using a venturi orifice. So the only area where the venturi orifice is useful from a stabilization of your gas rate point of view is that one over there, which is when you have a tubing pressure at orifice that is in this zone over there for which you can't reach the critical rate through your square edge orifice and you have some margin compared to the 10% delta P of your venturi orifice. I believe that the fact that you have this narrow window and the fact that if you don't design it well, you might get a very unstable gas flow rate might be the reason why you don't see much of those used in the industry. So on that slide, you can see the performance curve of a 1064 Nova valve for different upstream pressure. It is exactly like for the square edge orifice. As I decrease the upstream pressure, the critical rates decrease at the same time.